For this I was born. My name is Erwin Valderamo from the Dog Messiah. Look at this motherfucker. I'm the lover of dogs and persons. He loves beautiful testicles. Hey, don't bite them. Dude, what the fuck is the thing with you today? Biting beautiful testicles. He just bit some of beautiful testicles. Jeez, dude. All right. What in the fuck? Naughty motherfucker, you saw For it. this, I came <laughs> into the world. Good. Okay. So, she's acting too fucking well behaved. There's a thunderstorm going on right now. So we're going to have to train indoors. We have to improvise. Because, may I tell you, I'd rather be outside training in the rain and in real world shit. Dakota wants to go outside and train in the rain. Pretty. So look, I'm gonna put the train collar on her. And look what she got to sit. Everybody's eager to train. And I'm very hard on him when I train with him because I put him in very difficult situations, but he just has such a happy heart. He just always knows that I'm, oh, he just fucking bit at me. Did you see that, Xander? He just bit me, bit my crotch. This motherfucker, dude. He's never done that before. So this is a good reason why I tell people it takes time. He, he's maybe been with me five, six, seven, I don't know how many fucking weeks. Oh, he about to bite me in the fucking nuts again. This is why I say, if, if I was being mean on him, he would never show me that behavior. You can't, oh, you can't be buying your, you can't be buying daddy in the nuts, baby. Look at him, what a little fucking cow's hole. Damn it, dude. Now he's biting at the leash. He didn't take one at, he didn't take one at my nuts that time. Damn. Holy shit. Typically, she's been very, very tolerant of him. You've seen it firsthand, huh, Lander? <laughs> he just gets up there, does his thing, and then she's perfectly all right. She's probably gonna go through a false pregnancy. He doesn't even have his beautiful testicles anymore. Okay, good. All right, Xander. Very good, buddy. So, to be fair, Xander had placed her in a sit and she was at his heel, looking beautiful. But I told him to tell her to go bananas. Oh, you little motherfucker. Started telling her to go bananas so that she would act out a little bit, yes? because Xander has done a tremendous job training with her to frame this whole thing. I'd like to start off by thanking you all so much for watching, especially those of you that plan to stick around until the very end. You're not gonna wanna miss this. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and pull the bell so you'll be notified when we upload another video. I love how you're holding your ground, Xander. We were just talking about that, huh? How your handling has just improved so much. You're very, very in tune with your dog. I really like what you're doing. So she's pestering the other dogs right now and we're going to start pestering her. Check us out on Instagram stories. If you haven't already, we update them daily. You don't wanna miss out. Oftentimes the videos that you're seeing on YouTube are maybe a week behind when we actually film them. So stay up to date on Instagram stories. Check out Doobie Doodle, yeah? <laughs> exactly. So it's Doobie Doodle. Doobie Doodles. Doobie Doodles. That Doobie Doodles. He has clothing, he has merch, he has stickers. Awesome, huh? Okay, so this is his dog Rosie. We're gonna start training with her. Now Xander, what I want you to do is I want you to start walking towards me, but I want you to start off with a rotation. So that you, perfect, perfect. So you see how she looked up at you the moment you started that rotation? That is her acknowledging the fact, oh, nip, nip. You gotta be intense now, okay? So now you gotta start fucking around. Because listen, you were just telling me about your intensity. You set yourself on fire training this dog. So we did virtual and phone consultations, but may I tell you, Xander is the operant power here. He has applied what he's learned on YouTube, what he's learned through phone and virtual consultations, and has done his best to mimic the things that I do here, even with the, I just found, apply pressure, stop there. Even with, I just found out, oh, that's perfectly all right. You're handling it beautifully. Even with what I just found out with, with training that you've done with the elevated bed, yes? What were you telling me? You, so I said to you, Xander, so you worked on the elevated bed yet? And you said, yeah, she's really good at it, right? 
Good down. Extend your leash and walk away, please. So what were you saying? What have you done? Drop uh, the leash, you can drop it. Uh, yeah, the elevated bed uh, yeah. stays on the upstairs, Holy downstairs, shit. <laughs> go out back, yeah. out front. In the basement, yeah. and Gabby has done it too, yeah? Yeah, she's there, we're all there, and we're all by her and melting. Oh, apply pressure, perfect, good job, Dad. Apply uh, constant pressure, constant pressure, good. And walk away from her again. Keeping it perfect, oh. So that's real faithful of you to drop the leash like that, like you don't give a fuck, I like it. But to viewers out there, I would actually walk away extending my leash out so that I can step on it. But I like the way you did it. The way you did it shows panache. And like you didn't give a particular fuck. And you want her to test you. Yeah. Remember I was telling you how the dogs understand that when I grab the leash, that there's almost something about me that is kind of like that grin when they look at you and say, this isn't going to hurt a bit, and they're about to inject you. You see what I mean? Right, and they have that smile on their face. So the same thing there. She laid down, which is perfectly all right. So now we're going to do this. We're going to put her on the elevated bed, but first, because she broke there, we're going to start this way. So look what I'm going to do. Good calves. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, fuck, I thought I hit you on the leash, Papa. All right. I'm going to lay it on myself. Xander, will you take him, please? Just like you see me do on videos. But we need her to maintain her position, okay? So listen, apply pressure. Good. You're going to give him command. If she breaks, I'm willing to handle her for you. But I think your handling is sufficient. And I think that grace is good enough for you already that you could gracefully manage both of them. I think you can do it. I have faith in you. You've seen me do it. Listen, I can manage both of them right now. Even if she fucking breaks, I'm still going to make it happen. Okay? Tell him to heal, please, and start to walk. Good heal. And do not spare him. Please don't spare him. He's a little cackle. Good, good, good. Perfect. Good stay with him. He's doing amazing, dude. Okay, very good. He's done a hell of a job. This is him. This is him training her at home. He is the opera power. This is not from him, from me handling this dog. This is all you, buddy. Fucking amazing. Come straight down, nip him, nip him. If you slow down, come slow down and come to a stop. Oh, you see how he's talking it? You see how he's nipping at you? Oh, a blood pressure, oh, he, he's challenging your faith. He's testing a gangster there, okay? Perfect, you did it beautifully, buddy. I even like the laughing that you did because it shows him that you're not, you don't really think he's a threat. Uh, apply pressure, good, perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect, Xander. I'm, listen, I even love how you're resetting yourself. What I mean by resetting is he's always putting himself at the left side of the dog. It's kind of like he's teaching him how to skateboard, how to dance. <laughs> Dude, you got fucking raw dog skills, and look at that. Yeah? Wait, you like to roll those raw dogs, don't you? At the brand that you like raw dog? <laughs> That's not what it's called. The raw dog. Oh, shit, dude. Well, I'm always making weird fucking, weird fucking uh, references, yeah? Okay, look, look, okay, look. That's perfectly all right. She got up a little bit. And, and, and Maggie's complicating things. She's trying to humiliate you. Good job, Xander. Now you're going to tell him to heal, please, and start to walk. Yeah. And start to walk past Rosie, almost walking over her, please. Good. Oh, holy shit. Good stay. Good. Okay, turn to your left if you have to, to make a little bit of room to prep yourself. Okay, come all the way around, come all the way out this way if you need to. Good job, Xander. And that just reminded me what I'm about to do. Good. Now see if you can walk over her. Good stay, oh, perfect. Oh, good sit, good stay. Hey, baby. You just reminded me. Okay. Good job, Xander. Now, got her on the leash, but look, she wants to go outside, but we're not gonna go outside. We're gonna work. Crypto's down. Oh, Xander, you're losing your faith. Good. So look, good heal. Pretty. Good heal. So look. Good heal. Oh, you wanna handle it? Holy shit, good stay. You're a real motherfucker, apply pressure right there. Perfect, dude. Now don't let her follow you, walk away from her. Oh, you're a real motherfucker. Good stay. Ignore the leash. Oh, good job. Oh, you're gonna give me good. I'm losing my faith. Dude, your handling was so impressive. I was awestruck. I lost my faith. Apply pressure. Look. Nip it and rotate. Rotate. Bring him back around right here. 
Beautiful. Good. Heal. Dude, amazing handling, man. Dude, next level shit on your handling, okay? Good heal. Next level shit, I'm telling you the truth. There's no reason I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to tell you anything, Xander. I'm just trying to sing you a song here, buddy. This is a lovely song, Xander. I can hear the soundtrack of your life, Xander. Okay? And it's a very joyous tune. Oh, look. Test of my faith. Good. Good. Oh, good. Look. Good. Okay, mom and dad haven't been working with you at home. Good. But you're going to listen. Script those down, so I'm going to put in the work. Tell them to heal, please. Good. Good. Good, Dakota. Perfect. Okay, come to a stop there. Look. Look what I'm gonna do. Nip, nip. I don't want her to get on my left. Good. 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 Just stay. Okay, you can take the leash off of him, please. And you're gonna tell him to go bananas. Okay, look, she got up. Apply pressure. Just stay. Good job, Xander. Okay, very good. Now, gotta put in that work, yes? Come, no, yeah. See that bed that's in there? Take that bed out of there, please. And you're gonna set that bed down in between her and Sawa. Good stay. Good stay. Good job, Xander. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, watch your head. Set it down right there. Good job. Amazing, Vander. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Now, you're going to come take her. You're going to come up to her heel. You're going to walk around. Don't go put her on it yet. We're going to walk around. I'm going to have you follow me, okay? Stand right next to her. Pause for a few seconds. Now grab the leash. Epic fucking handling, okay? Good. Heel, you're going to follow me, yes? We're just going to walk around the room randomly, yes? Yeah? I'm going to try to trip you up. You're going to try to trip me up. We're gonna do whatever. Good. Like the train team. Well, we got cuckold. By a bull. Hey, that's what you were telling me how they're called bulls? People that kick rail fans off the train yard? Uh, a bull? Yeah, yeah, rail security. Rail security? <laughs> so, but the street name is what? A bull? Yeah, yes. Okay. Go ahead and bring it right over here. So, what is the term for rail fans? Rail fans are people that like to follow trains and hobo life, right? Xander and I are thinking about taking a week off of work and catching off and trying to take, you know, like a train. Followers, that's a A what? Rail fans who like, like trespass like us. Yeah, yeah. Foamers, yeah, <laughs> foamers, huh? Yeah, so we, we, if you haven't already, check out the video of the train, we got cuckold. For this, I was born. You've been this close to a train before, huh? Yeah. You told me she's afraid of train. Oh, how you doing? Sorry? We're just train aficionados. We love trains, yeah? Sir? Babu. Right, Xander? Good. It was fucking amazing. Good stay, baby. Look at this. Everybody just wants to work with you, dude. Jesus, <laughs> look at you. Everybody's trying to work with you. Awesome, huh? It's particularly Cass. And you were hard on him while you were working him because I told you, don't spare him. But look how he just still wants to give it another shot. Yeah? All right, fantastic. Pretty girl. Que bonita. Okay, heal. All right, very good. Now go ahead and follow me, please. Handsome. Oh, yeah, look, that's when we got Coco. That was the video. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> Who, there's no other trainer more narcissistic than me that's going to be playing his own videos in the background. And I said, I, try, I like to throw my hat up in the air. If the ceiling wasn't here, I'd throw my hat up even higher because I just love it. All right, Xander, we'll put her on the bed. Oh, he's about to get shit hot. He's about to get shit popping in here. He's about to get shit popping in here. And she's beast reactive. She's here for dog aggression. And he's about to get it popping. Oh, little motherfucker. See? All right. Good, she needs it. She needs to go through the fires of hell. Good job, Xander. Walk away from her, please. And then come and take my lovely Dakota. Don't spare her feelings, please. Okay, good job, Xander. You did that beautifully, buddy. Are you afraid of her? <laughs> Fuck no, huh? No way, you got bit by Elton the other night. <laughs> Didn't you say you went out drinking on the strand and you got so drunk? 
you came home and held Elton, and he wouldn't think much when you put the shit out of you. Oh. Elton's like, how old is he, Alexander? Uh, huh? 11. <laughs> 11. <laughs> and he's like a Merle Dachshund, and he's really grumpy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so he does like his mom. Yeah, like a very cute, so beautiful. All right, Xander, tell her to heal, please. Yeah. Good job, Xander. And you're just gonna cut around this way. You're trying to get her to trip up. Good. Man, Rosie don't give a particular fuck. Hi. She's doing amazing, dude. Well, she's chewing on the leash, but we're gonna pick that battle. So see, other trainers right now would probably start fussing and being pissed off that she's chewing on the leash, but we're gonna allow it because her dad's handling another dog right now. She's, he's with another woman, and she's okay with it. Good, 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 good. Slow down and come to a stop, please. Beautiful, apply a little pressure. Good. Tell her to heal, walk a few feet and come, in be come to a stop in between Sabo and Rosie. Perfect, Xander, good. There you go, good, you're doing perfect. Touch her, please, and walk around Rosie and come to a stop next to Rosie on the other side. Bringing her to a sit, please. Good job. So turn the left, oh, perfect, I like it, good. Now tell her to heal and walk up and stop right next to them so they're parallel to one another, right there. And we'll stop. Perfect. Extend your leash out. Good job. Uh, apply pressure. Good job, Vander. Amazing hand. Dude, your dog is excelling. All those actions that you're doing, she just... And oh, now Cal's about to try to make things a little harder on you, okay? So good. Good job. Drop the leash, please. And if you need to, I'll step in, yes? So Fomer. If you say the secret word foamer, it means you want me to step in, okay? Good, apply pressure, grab a leash and apply pressure very calmly. Dude, your handling is unbelievable. See, he's just learned this handling through mimicking. You just have to learn how to mimic. Perfect. You can mimic the way Xander is handling the dog trainer. You're going to do amazing. Extend your leash out, please. Good. Perfect. Walk tight around her. Good. Dude, she's still... Perfect. Apply pressure. Good job. So she's three-legging it right now, but look, look, but I can't blame her completely. So look, good. Grab that leash, please, and start to walk around her. She fixed herself. More or less, Kaz is ironically enough distracting and correcting her at the same time. But look, I'm gonna bump. Okay, I was about to bump. No, no. So she's she's testing your faith. Now you gotta pull her back on there, Daniel. You're doing that beautifully, dude. Even with this dog, you did that beautifully. You did that beautifully. Very good. You can you can train two dogs by yourself. It's very easy. Good, be, that, look good, sit. It's actually a good thing to have two dogs fucking up while you're training. Okay, very good. Xander, pull it back up there. Good. Good job, apply pressure on the Husky and Dakota. Good job. Good job, Xander. So you they're learning. Real world shit, okay? Oh, apply pressure. Good job, Tell her to heal. Look at that. Oh, good job, Xander. Perfect, keep walking. Good job, buddy. Every, all your movements are perfect. All your movements are perfect. Slow down and come to a stop, please. Awesome. Tell her to go bananas, please. Good, now stop there. Now take the leash off of her. Good. <laughs> she wants to go to the kill. <laughs> All right, awesome. Man, you did amazing. Okay, so we know that Rosie loves balls. So we're gonna talk. Dude, I'm trying to get her to fuck up. No, Listen, I'm working Dakota is going to be hardcore because the, Dakota is unpredictable. So do you know what I mean? And then, there you go. Perfect. Perfect, Dad. Everything that you do is perfect. Everything you do is perfect. Everything. You, the only thing I would have changed back to me instead of perfect, I'd have nicked you a point for this, is uh, speed. I would have done, oh, look, look. Quick. I will still apply pressure. Uh, now I would have grabbed the leash and I would, I would apply pressure right there. Okay, grab the leash, grab the leash and apply pressure. She jumped off of it twice. So each time that you showed her a little gray, it backfired on you. Okay, so do not show her any gray, just like I told you about that the other dogs. Now he's scratching at that collar. Good, you get all right. So she likes balls, yeah, Xander? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've done it, I've thrown it Okay. All right, listen, I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna ask you to reach in because this motherfucker might bite, good. She doesn't know you like that, but watch what we're gonna do. I need her to stay put, okay, Xander? All right, you ready? We'll stand over there, we're gonna toss this, we're gonna play keep away. And I don't particularly give a fuck if Cass stays on there or not. This is an exercise for Rosie, yes? Wow, unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable, my, my toss was worth a shit. Okay, go ahead and pick it up. Unless you don't, unless you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Okay. 
Oh, the little guy is always fucking up our program. He's the door. Oh, good, baby. Oh, thank you, baby. Fucking smart, Kaz. Okay, I forgive you, baby. I forgive you for running me in the testicle. Okay, good. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Baba. So smart. Dude, he's tossing it for me. Huh? He's so smart. He's tossing it for me. Maggie, come on, baby. Don't fuck up a good, don't fuck up a good thing. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Okay, you ready, Xander? Look. Okay, let, let Cass pick it up. Let him take it. Let him take it. Good. Good, 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 Cass. Good. Good, Cass. Hands up, Cass. Good, Maggie. Good, baby. Smart. Okay, good job, buddy. Good, 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 Maggie. Okay, look. Dakota. <laughs> he's like a little fucking guard dog. God damn it, Sawa. Sawa loves the shit out of you, huh? Hey, has he dinged you in the testicle today? <laughs> awesome, huh? That's like how he gets to know you a little bit. He, he kind of stops after after the first day. After the first day, he realizes he can get the best reaction if he dings you in the, in the crotch. Awesome, huh? Okay, very good. Now walk up to her, take the leash off of her, and then when you take the leash off, that does not imply go banana, so I want her to stay put. Perfect. Okay, good. Now go ahead and tell her to go bananas. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and call the bell. Good, good, good. Good pick up so you'll be notified when we upload another video. Like I said, check our Instagram stories out. We update them daily if you can comfortably afford a Lodge and Learn program and are able to make the pilgrimage or have me come out to you, then by all means do reach out. We'd love to hear from you. I'm in the Houston, Texas area. My name is Erwin Valderamo from the Dog Messiah. Look at this oh, motherfucker. I'm the lover of dogs in person. He loves beautiful testicles. Hey, don't bite them. Dude, what the fuck is the thing with you today biting beautiful testicles? He just bit all those beautiful testicles. Jeez, dude, all right. What in the fuck? Naughty motherfucker, you saw him. He just bit his fucking nuts. No, sir. None of that shit anymore. I'm gonna watch you. Jesus Christ, Kaz. Okay. I lost my place. Yeah, Lodge and Learn, if you can comfortably afford it, you wanna have your dog come over here and have Kaz bite your testicles, by all means, do reach out. Time is running out for that privileged opportunity. Good heel sip. Asavo and Maggie Esau. Hexic will always be here, yeah? Awesome. Again, thank you so much for watching. May the Lord be with you from the good morning to the good night and speak to you in your dreams. My name is Erwin Valderamo from the Dog Messiah. I'm the lover of dogs and persons. Make no mistake. For this I was born. Go tell them. For this I came into the world. Awesome, huh? Power. So be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Instead, you must be still, commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be silent. And as with all things, when you do it, you must be intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I will spew you out. Be it that ye are either hot or cold, but because thou art lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't accomplish shit in this world if you're tepid and timid. You must be intense about everything that you want. Set yourself on fire and the world will follow. You are called to dominate the earth. Bless you all.